Welcome to Twisted Monday. Where we're going to play Twisted Metal 3 in a manner most unlike anything we've ever seen before. In fact, it already looks different. The title screen is not taking place inside the warehouse, bonus level. Rather, in the legitimate LA level. And some of the vehicles are just big old boxes of disco. It's glitchy, it's messy. And it's because of game shark cheats that are required to do the stuff that I'm about to do. First and foremost, let us actually begin the game. Tournament mode, standard difficulties, CPU ally, that's the thing I've wanted to show off for a while. We're gonna pool lives, I'll explain what that means later. Suffice to say, pooling lives is a bad idea and I should not be doing it. But it's not going to matter because of who I'm going to play as. So our ally can be Mr. Grimm because our vehicle is primeval. We get to play as the final boss using Game Shark Cheats. And from what I've seen, it's pretty stable. It's probably not going to crash the game. But I will be using save states just in case. I've never seen it happen, but knowing my luck, now that I'm streaming, it's going to crash the damn game. And I'm going to try and avoid that. I just thought it was funny to, like, play as this unkillable vehicle that basically has a pylactery out there in the form of fellow competitor, Mr. Grimm. Because we are pooling lives, that means we have combined, I think, like six lives for the entirety of this playthrough. And every time Mr. Grimm dies, my life count goes down. It doesn't show our full life count, it only shows the two extras. But when I go below two extra lives, that is when we will actually get to see what my real life count is. There's Mr. Grimm. I gotta remember not to kill him. Acts as my first instinct every time I see anything in a Twisted Metal game. Primeval itself plays very well. I don't know why it wasn't like, playable in the main game, by default. It seems fully functional, and it's fun, and... I just don't understand why they didn't make this available, except by usage of a game shark. There's Hammerhead. Looking an awful lot like Mr. Grimm. When you're primeval, the size difference means nothing, so the fact that they're both red is all I can really see or care about. I mean, primeval itself takes up like half the screen. There's our first CPU death. Losing lives. Precious, precious lives. Ultimately, it probably won't matter very much because it's not like uh, Grim can die enough times that we just actually lose the life we're currently driving with. And it is entirely possible that we will go deathless throughout this entire run. We just might not have any bonus lives. Or a CPU ally, for that matter. After, like, the third or fourth level. Oh, what a brutal punishment that will be. Be primeval without those precious, precious things. Okay, I guess I'll kill her with my machine gun, which is not upgraded as far as I can tell. It's just a typical machine gun. Damage values are very weird in this game. Everything feels impotent. And sometimes enemies just explode. Who's to say why? <laughs> Our special is nowhere near as busted as it is when the CPU uses it. I'm sure it statistically deals exactly the same amount of damage, but the CPU 
spams it so you get hit with like four at the same time. Reducing its overall efficacy quite a bit by depriving us of infinite uses. Maybe I should just put in cheat codes, but even then I wouldn't be able to fire it as rapidly as the CPU does. Unless I turn around and rear fire it. Because everyone except me knew for the longest time that when you rear fire weapons, it fires every single time you input the rear fire code. Which can and often will be much, much faster than firing things forward. It was grim again. <laughs> But we still have some extra lives that we're not going to need. I've heard recently a apparently common rumor that it is possible to blow open a wall here in the DC level. and go underneath the Capitol building, where there's a secret area. I'm 99% certain this is not true. But given the nature of Twisted Metal games, it might somehow still be true. Dark Side's here. We're not speedrunning at the moment. This is a typical run of sorts. Really just an experiment. I like to do occasional random experiments on Monday itself, and then we do speedruns not the rest of the week. Because apparently we didn't have enough weekly Twisted Metal content. I mean, I put out none for quite a while there. I think we can all agree none is not enough. My favorite James Bond movie. Damn you, Primeval. So we've got 989 wall. Wherein if we touch two uh, edges of walls at the same time, our physics completely freak out. And Primeval is gargantuan and will frequently touch two edges of walls at the same time, resulting in bad things. The vehicle doesn't control particularly well, making it kind of difficult to line up shots. It's honestly an awkward play for for how powerful the vehicle is, its biggest strength is the fact that it basically can't die. It has so much more health than any of the default characters. But it doesn't kill anything particularly fast. In this level, we should kill everything very, very quickly. Primeval does look sort of like a dune buggy. I guess it replaces Grasshopper quite aggressively. Oh, uh, let's get a good look at the driver. There he is. There's that hunk. Finally get to see him up close and personal. As the big old glob of gray. I'm going to have to take the teleporter because this vehicle's uh, hitbox is so awkward. And I guarantee that the spaceship itself is going to murder Grim. Nothing I can do about that. Yep. He's dead already. That's going to deprive us of extra lives already. Yep. <laughs> He died almost immediately. Now 
now to play a little cleanup. Roadkill immediately grabbed a health refill, as did Axel. And we have no extra lives in stock. I do believe this is our last Mr. Grim. Probably not going to last much longer. Unfortunately, Roadkill will, though. Okay, good stuff. Mm, adequate stuff, really. There has been no glitching or anything. So, like I said, the game's surprisingly stable while playing as a boss that you're not meant to play as. Like I said, this really should be unlocked by default. It should have been part of the main game. It's pretty cool. And the game needed more content. It needed more of everything, really. Another reason I'm using save states is uh, at this point, if I die, I just game over. And obviously, Primeval does not have any passwords available. will do the needful. Can't even keep up with Hammerhead. And uh, Club Kid's here. I think Club Kid, is, Club Kid is no longer here, thankfully. The game is very rushed, which is all the more reason to just cram in this vehicle. Because it plays like a dream. When you make it playable, you put that on the back of the box. And you're very, very, like, limited, unfinished game. Now has, what, 15 playable vehicles or something? I forget how many it has for real. The Primeval and Dark Side are functionally both playable if you use Game Shark codes. As I am now presently doing. Now we'll see if Mr. Grimm respawns the next time he dies, which is inevitable, I'm assuming. He has been a good distraction. The enemy are less aggressive to me and seemingly a little less um, hungry for health refills. At least felt remote bombs did more damage than that. I guess I'll just tank them. So what do I care? Um, in Twisted Metal 3, Darkseid is canonically still driven by Mr. Ash. It says so in the instruction manual. But you never see him. Because then they would have had to model the character. That simply was never going to happen. Okay. Grim's officially dead. Will he ever return? Blind to doubt it. I don't know where Hammerhead is, but they should just teleport it. I really need her finished off because she's <laughs> she's about to do that. Duh. Twisted Metal Fairy, worst game in the series. I stick by it. Forever. Going for another health refill, are you? Second Grim dies. It's all they care about again.
Maybe I should just uh, reload my save state at this point. It would honestly probably be faster. Head-on collision. I think we're learning good strats with how to deal with Primeval as a boss by playing as him. Learning he's still weightless like all the other vehicles and just bounces around. I gotta have some specials at this point, just the one. Special does have gigantic knockback. I was certain there was a health refill she was going for. Yeah, it must be... No, no health refill. Her behavior seemed to indicate as much, but no. Oh, man. Primeval just cannot win a game of chicken. It's kind of embarrassing. He's got those giant helium wheels. A joke I stole from a uh, commenter while I was playing his Axel in one of these games. I'm just speedrunning Twisted Metal 1, so I think head-on collisions are still a good idea when they are not so much in this game. Alright, we're free of the North Pole. We hit uh, warm up over in London. Famously warm London. I'm seeing Mr. Grimm on the map. There he is, yeah. Nice to have you back, Grimm. So our CPU ally will respawn, even if it drives us into negative lives. That's pretty cool. It's sort of the same if we don't pool lives. If we don't pool lives, then... I have three lives, and the CPO, the, no, CPU also has three lives. And that's for the entirety of the run. And they will also respawn even if they have zero lives. Just moving on to the next mission gives them a bonus life. But as you can see, CPU allies are utterly worthless. Hilariously garbage. They have their own category on the speedrun page, if you wish to include one during your speedrun. Presumably there is some functional benefit to it. Like, they do absorb enemy fire. Don't get hit quite as often with that CPU ally around. Save the world. Kill the cheerleader. Up, oh, Grim's gone again. He got in the melee. So I compared him to a phylactery, but really he's uh He's just a victim. Another victim. He would be the worst lich in the world if that were our phylactery. getting caught on my side. <laughs> Surprisingly, we, we can just like drive sideways across the wall. Which would sort of be physically possible. I often say this game has accurate hitboxes. Vehicles will only take damage if you hit them actually in the shape of the character model. I don't know, I'm getting some fairly clean hits here. And watching enemies just have the shot go right through them. Gotta stick with gigantic attacks, like the ricochet bomb. 
which also lets us juggle people. And surprisingly, our specials regenerate at a reasonable rate. Seemingly balanced for player usage. Oh, everyone is gathering where there's a health refill, and of course there's not a health refill there anymore. Because they got it. Augur died in the process of getting it. At least there's that. And Warthog is right behind me. See what else I can hit up with. Not much of anything. Machine guns. So shape we learned while speedrunning is perhaps the most important attribute of every vehicle in the game. And Primeval has a terrible shape. I really don't like what I'm seeing Warthog doing. We're also very slow, so I can't do much of anything to prevent enemies from getting the health refills. Special did obliterate him very, very suspiciously quickly. Didn't even feel that strong in previous usages. So let's see if we are as powerful as Minion. Not when he rear fires a special, that's for sure. A little too big to uh, use Napalm's point blank and have it be in any way effective. He's just going to keep spamming that special in reverse. No, what am I gonna do if he kills me? Besides low to save state. I prefer not to do that though. Now I probably won't have to. I wonder if not programming a shield into this game was a like technical issue or a design choice. Feels like a design choice, but given how sloppy this game is, you never know. I literally cannot move, but as soon as I unfreeze, we win. And we go to Tokyo. Still no safe states used. Really should be going for the radar immediately. Otherwise, it's gonna get stolen. It's rolling uncontrollably. I think for that roll cage. I feel like the roll cage is working against us. You really want your vehicle to be as flat as possible because that gets you like officially overturned more quickly. And once you're overturned, the game writes you. It's better than bouncing around and rolling forever. It is... It feels, at least, nigh impossible to actually land any sort of hit. Especially on Club Kid. Because it is Microblast... Microblast-esque.
Okay, not going anywhere near the fan because people are chucking napalms at it. Got our radar. Let's use it to immediately kill Club Kid. Best use of the radar ever. And that was possibly the second best. Knocked like half of Thumper's health out. Can I climb back on? Yes. So the manual says that Primeval Special is every special in the game combined. It's actually two or three of Roadkill Special plus Mr. Grimm Special. All of them homing. Unlike in their actual incarnations when the correct vehicles use them. You have to be accurate. I did a playthrough with Roadkill and it was an absolute nightmare. Because the special on Roadkill is an overhead arc. And we've seen how effective those are. I think we're about headed for regeneration. Oh, damn it. I thought that was where the bridge was. So I am going to speedrun this game, and I'm guessing already that like 90% of the speedrun is just not getting flipped over. So pivotal, saving any sort of time. Come down here with me. Can't seem to get him on screen. He's in a jousting mood. Do we have anything with homing? No. Damn it. Love this game's terrible, terrible weapons. All of them complete garbage. I'll take things with large hitboxes. Hope that this is enough to kill Flower Power. I consider Flower Power for our CPU ally. Similarly easy to kill as Mr. Grimm. Oh, lost her. He's in the lava. It should work for Warthog. Except he's off the platform again. Got her. Beautiful. And now, if I can do the same to Warthog, we'll be great. Oh, yeah. Another one down. <laughs> It's still going very, very fast. I guess because our special essentially like instant kills anyone it touches. I'm pressing all sorts of F keys that I should not be pressing apparently. In the pursuit of safe states. Let's see how far over this hill we can get. Because I saw a bunch of pyramids back there, yeah. You would really never see those in normal gameplay. They're too far outside of the playing field. I've noticed almost every time, before we even really do anything, all the enemies are at half health. 
They're just so eager to get to me that they appear to be brutalizing each other. Which is the main reason that they don't spawn all the enemies in at the same time. They do the regeneration thing. Because if they did, all the enemies would just be firing constantly and very inaccurately and killing each other. How about everyone join me in the crypt? Are you ready for it? Are you ready to ride? When the time comes, will you be ready to die? We got a nice creepy song for it. But no one wants to join me. Also, I haven't seen Mr. Grimm in a few levels. I think the game finally got sick of spawning him in just to watch him die. Got two people here. Which is more than enough for me. That's exactly enough for me. It'd be ridiculous if two was more than enough. Oh, there's Mr. Grimm. Right when I said... He wasn't here. Of course he's here. Nothing kills Grim. He's the master of death. Humper has literally no HP. There he goes. Now he's dead. He outlasted all the other CPUs. Good for him. I certainly didn't help him. That must have been why the enemies weren't going down into the crypt with me. They were trying to kill Grim. I wonder if they change enemy behaviors any when you have a CPU ally, because they do seem to be much more focused on just killing. It's been a long time since I played Twisted Metal 3, though. Cannot accurately assess whether or not it's in any way different from the normal. The song is titled Death Watch in reference to the video game Mad World, from which it originated. One of the best video game soundtracks you can get. I, honestly, I hate Primeval. This is a terrible vehicle. <laughs> Laughably overpowered, but just so bouncy and awkward. Really ruins any fun potential. Maybe they did not make it playable. Fair players. They playtested it and decided it was miserable. And then they put it in Mr. Grimm and like five other vehicles that are absolutely miserable to play as. I'll take that. One death. Hopefully another. Hog. Oh, he's in camouflage. <laughs> Couldn't see him there. Just standing up against the wall. Confused about how to proceed. Confused about why there's lightning in an underground mummy crypt. How does that make any sense as an environmental attack? Can't really successfully do any combat down here. It's possible the only reason they didn't uh, make Primeval playable is because they didn't want to do even the suggestion of a story for it. It obviously has no cutscenes if you are to complete the game. That's why I chose to do this with a ally. I've, all, I've wanted to show off the ally thing for a long time. But for one thing, it doesn't make the game different enough to like meaningfully dedicate an entire run to it. And for another, it uh, disables the endings and I like to show those off. 
even though they're atrocious in this game. And the world's better off without those endings. We have to actually finish Spectre here. That'll do it. Onward to the final battle. Anticlimactically enough. We're almost through with it. Just gotta survive our own mirror match. Now our vehicle is huge. So the odds of us like peeking our nose through the um, grate here and breaking the switch before breaking all the others is very low. But it worked. <laughs> So yeah, now I don't have to go break the other switches. I just cheated. That's a speedrun strat, obviously. I'm gonna start having to get good at those because I'm gonna speedrun this game. Just doing a little bit of practice. Now let's maybe kill some of these guys. Spectre got killed in the crossfire. good means to do much of anything. Up oh, there goes Grim for the last time. He will be sorely missed. Really, we just had him around for moral support. But obviously, at this point, I'm going to do a run with Dark Side as well. Hopefully, it'll be more fun. Prime Evil ended up being deeply flawed. Pretty sure Dark Side is at least less bouncy. But since Dark Side also doesn't have any endings, I will also be giving him a CPU ally. And it also will not matter. Another one down. Any more down. If I could touch the ground, we could probably finish this. Real quick like. I was actually firing through the box there. I guess my nose was peeking through it. Dealing damage to the other side, but not the other side of the box. But the box on the other side of that box. I want to use the lightning yet. Probably a good time for the special. Indeed it was. And mirror match. Can Primeval be Primeval? The age-old question. those up. There he is. Look at that. We're perfect clones. Twinsies. Okay, this, this should not be underestimated. I'm learning. And he stole the help refill? No, he didn't. He's a little overconfident. That's my only saving grace. He has infinite ammo. Didn't think that would help him so much. I can't seem to get a good clean shot on him. should really prioritize trying to push him over the edge 
as we've seen in previous runs, it is by far the best way to deal with him. Oh yeah, everything has to be spawned over here. That's going to make our lives way easier. Yeah, he's in perfect position for lightning. In the most recent summoning of the video, when he covered Mario Kart 64, anytime someone used the lightning attack, he would freeze the video on a single frame for the duration of the attack so there wouldn't be any screen flashing. I thought that was pretty classy. Close one. We almost had to fight Primeval for way longer. And now we don't. Play single player to see ending movies. Is the climactic finale of a Primeval run. Really wish there was like a filter that we could put over the game to skip every other frame when there's like flashing lights on screen. Surely someone has invented that or should invent it if they are able. But yeah, Primeval is create your own story. Choose your own adventure if you want to tell the story of Primeval. Look at how much slowdown there is here in this loading screen, this title screen. Because it's loading all the vehicles in all at once. And the warehouse is apparently designed to optimize having all the vehicles in at the same time. Because uh, this is this is an extremely low frame rate, even for Twisted Metal 3, which peaks at like 20 FPS. So yeah, that's life as a demon in a dune buggy with the embodiment of death as your motorcycle driving best friend. <laughs> They all lived happily ever after. Even Grim, who respawns every couple of minutes. Just wait it out and he'll be back. And presumably Primeval just lives in an endless loop of twisted metal. Every day he wakes up and it's twisted metal again. We should all be so lucky. And I am so lucky because I'm speedrunning twisted metal. Every game in the series. Seeing how it goes. I said I would probably skip Twisted Metal 2, and I will be doing that. I'm gonna come back to Twisted Metal 2. It's not off the table forever. It's a very important one to be sure to get better at. But it's also probably going to be the hardest speed run of the entire bunch. So I am going to instead do Twisted Metal 3 today. Starting up Twisted Metal 3, speed running it throughout the week. It's probably the second easiest in the series to speedrun. But it does have actual speedrun tricks, unlike Twisted Metal 1 and 2 for that matter. There are skips. We saw one of the skips here in this very video where I blew up the switch without um, taking out the other switches. There's another one just like that. And I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but with practice, we will master it. And we'll see how Twisted Metal 3 speedrunning goes. Thank you for joining me as I play through Prime Evil. It's been amusing. It's been unique, we'll say. And it should have been in the main game, even though it is broken to all hell. But I've done my best to put it back. I am Fiendly, and I thank you for watching Twisted Monday.